Hello, my name is Stephanie Gordon and I'm a scientist with the U.S. Geological Survey. I led the creation of a new USGS tool that's interactive and can help visualize estimates of PFAS contamination in tap water across the U.S. Frequently called forever chemicals, PER and polyfluorinated alkyl substances, or PFAS, are used in a wide variety of common items. Current research suggests that exposure to PFAS may lead to adverse health risks. These chemicals are found in many places across the U.S. and can stay in the environment for a long time, making them a unique water quality concern. A recent USGS study suggests that at least 45% of the nation's tap water may have one or more types of PFAS. This study also suggests that these chemicals are more likely to be detected near urban areas and PFAS sources, like airports and wastewater sites. USGS scientists created an interactive dashboard to help the public better understand their risk of exposure to PFAS. This tool allows you to view the study results as well as known PFAS sources near your community. The dashboard displays two sets of data. First, we can look at the colored dots, which vary in size and shade to represent the total concentration of PFAS. Each dot represents a sample that was analyzed as part of the recent USGS study on PFAS in tap water. The second data set, which is represented by the gray, yellow, orange, and red hexagons, shows the number of known or reported PFAS sources in each 1,500 square kilometer hexagon. This information is from the Environmental Protection Agency's PFAS Analytics tool, which is linked below in the caption. When you open the web page, you will see this dashboard. The upper left panel is an introduction and has instructions on how to use this tool. The lower left panel contains links to additional information, like the study on PFAS and tap water, the data used in this dashboard, and additional resources. The center panel is the map. Here, you can zoom in and out, as well as drag around to explore the data from the USGS and EPA across all states and territories. To see specific information, you can zoom into the area you're interested in and either click on one of the hexagons to view the data on PFAS sources, or click on one of the dots to view data on PFAS concentrations in sampled tap water. So for example, I've clicked on this hexagon and this dot, which are now highlighted. When you click on the hexagon, a window will pop up in the upper left part of the map, showing the number of known or potential PFAS sources in that area. When you click on a dot, the right side panel will change to show a breakdown of the PFAS concentrations detected in that selected sample. This breakdown shows if the sample was taken from a public or private water supply, when it was sampled, the total PFAS concentration, and concentrations for each detected type of PFAS within that sample. Finally, to deselect, you can press the X button on the top left corner of the map. To view a legend, you would click this button in the upper right corner, which looks like a bulleted list. You can also adjust the map by turning layers on and off, and changing the base map using the other two buttons in the upper right corner of the map. Thank you for joining me and for your interest in this new USGS web tool. It's a great way for someone to visualize their risk of PFAS exposure and to be more informed. If you're interested in PFAS testing or treatment options, you can contact your local and state officials or visit the EPA's website, which is linked below. If you have any questions, you can reach out by going to usgs.gov and clicking on the Connect tab. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.